सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद सर्किट कॉल्ड एज क्लॉक्ड जे के लैच सर्किट ओके इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड स्टडीड विद द क्लॉक एस आर लैच सर्किट ओके सो देर इज ओनली वन सिंपल चेंज इफ यू कंपेयर इट विद द एस आर लैच और फ्लिप फ्लॉक और द जे के लैच और फ्लिप फ्लॉक ओके ओनली वन चेंज इन द एस आर लैच वॉट वी हैड इज इन द वेन वी हैड द कॉम्बिनेशन when both the inputs are high that is when s and r are equal to 1 in case of nor in case of nor based sr latch it was uh, that is uh, if, when both the inputs are high that is if uh, when s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 then it the, uh, the output state that is q and q bar both would be equal to 0 okay but they both cannot be equal to 0 because one should be complement of other so that condition would be undefined right in case of nand based it was the combination it, it was for the combination 0 0 so in case of jk latch or flip flop there is one change that final condition is there right that would be avoided okay in order to avoid that condition they have built one more circuit called as jk latch or flip flop okay so here that is one change is the what is that is in the out input side in case of unclocked or clocked we are using three inputs okay three inputs we are using that is for one is for jk and one is for clock signal and one input is for the opposite output connection okay so you see here from here they have taken one connection and 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 i have given this to the q bar and from here one k connection is going to the q that is the opposite output connection of the sr latch circuit which are using okay so this is the complete block of the jk latch where the, using sr sr nand based sr latch we are building this clock jk latch circuit okay so this is only one change what would be happening is if we put the opposite end outputs to the opposite end then automatically the output at the end you will be getting it as opposite that is one would be the complement of other but it would be in the toggle state okay it would be always it won't be in the whether it won't be logical high or logical low it would be toggling for every time interval it would be a periodic signal okay so that's only one change introduction all simple and clocked sr latch circuits discussed in the earlier suffer from a common drawback that is they have not allowed the input combination when both inputs s and r are achieved simultaneously the circuit enters an indeterminate state as i have told you this issue can be resolved by adding a feedback path from the outputs to the inputs okay so this is that feedback path i was talking about okay resulting in a new type of latch which is called as jk latch okay so this is the diagram of the jk latch jk latch structure and working principle you see here this is the complete diagram using a uh, nand gates they have showed it here so here uh, as you as you can see this is the three input combination here okay with one clock signal jk and the other input is given to the opposite end of the output of, for this cross coupled nand gates okay so this is the structure of the jk latch then the working you see here the jk latch enhances the basic sr latch by eliminating the forbidden input condition okay it consists all nand gate structure with uh, active high inputs the j and k inputs correspond to the set and reset inputs set and reset inputs of the sr latch respectively the latch responds to the input only when the clock signal is active that is when clock equal to 1 it preserves its state that it that is it remains in its previous state when the clock is inactive that is ck equal to 0 okay so the, these characteristics are same as that for the clock sr latch input conditions and output response the input conditions and output response can be summarized here this is the truth table of the jk latch circuit you see here for the all the combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 when it is 0 0 the q would be equal to the it would be remaining in the hold state that is there is no change but if it is 1 0 it would be set that is it would be equal to 1 then for 0 1 it is 0 that is reset then for 1 1 in case of sr latch it was undefined condition whereas in case of uh, jk latch it is toggle okay whatever may be the input its opposite would be the output that is it would be in the toggle state okay so this is the detailed truth table okay you see uh, in all detailed manner with respect to this circuit three input combination this uh, they have given this truth table here okay you see here this truth table consists of two jk inputs two uh, two outputs that is q and q bar two inputs related to s and r then one common output okay so you see here when both the inputs j and k are 0 0 okay and when the combinations s and r for both the states are 1 1 first it would be remaining in the hold state that is 0 and the uh, complement for that would be equal to 1 okay that is 
but uh, for one zero that is if you see here when uh, both the s and r inputs are one then uh, either, either it would be zero or one then it would be in the hold state next for zero one it would be in the reset state that is q n would be equal to zero opposite to that output would be equal to one okay then we have for one one it is zero and for one zero it is equal to the same thing one zero okay so it would be in the reset state then we have for one zero it would be in the set state that is both the inputs are equal to one okay in case of reset both the inputs are zero and for one one that is the final state that is it would be either zero or one here also it would be zero or one and it would be one zero one zero one zero like that it would be toggling okay so this is the detailed truth table of the jk lat circuit so this here we have an extra mode called as toggle mode when while the jk latch resolves the undefined state as i've told you by uh, doing the opposite connections of the output it introduces a new potential problem that is if j and k are equal to 1 during the active clock pulse that is ck equal to 1 the output toggles continuously okay to avoid this toggling condition we have the clock pulse width must be less than the input to output propagation delay okay when when this is the when this width is less than the propagation delay then the toggling condition could be controlled okay so this ensures that only one toggle occurs per clock pulse okay if this timing constraint is met the jk latch toggles its state only one per clock cycle that is when jk equal to 1 so this is the behavior which is in, illustrated in the operation of jk latch in the toggle switch that is when both the combinations j and k are equal to 1 okay in this way it would be getting toggled and this is the toggling condition here okay when the jk latch operates exclusively with the jk equal to 1 it functions as a toggle switch each active clock pulse causes the output to the change of state that is from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 okay next you see nor based jk latch so this is the nor based jk latch here okay this diagram represents the nor based jk latch implementation where they have used the as in case of sr latch configuration in the in between they have used the nor gates here okay so this is the aoi realization of jk latch okay so this circuit here what they have used is again they have used the three inputs because uh, uh, jk consists of three input right so that's why they have taken the three input nand gate in the consideration here okay keeping these two inverters aside and for the making of connections two three input nand gates and uh, aoi realization and they have made the requirement connections using the aoi realization that is for the jk latch okay in cmos so this was it guys so this was about clocked jk latch so some more details if i missed it in this notes you you could be referring it because this notes i'm going to put it in the description go and access it and read it okay so that's all guys one part of the chapter is over so we have one more video left where we are going to discuss with the structural design okay so that's all for this video guys like share subscribe to our channel keep supporting thank you